Do you have a DJI Mavic Pro and you've been thinking about using the Platinum low noise props on yours? Well, we're going to test it out coming right up. Well, good Saturday afternoon. Uh, I have to throw some props out because I was inspired by Kevin at The Basic Filmmaker. By the way, it's a great channel. If you're not a subscriber of his channel, I'll put a link in the description below where you can click on, check out his channel. Very informative. But I was inspired by Kevin because he had done a video with the Mavic Pro and the Platinum Low Nose Props. And I wanted to do a little bit more testing with it. So... I used a decibel meter, digital decibel meter, so I could record audio. I took my GoPro Hero 5, I had it recording the decibel meter while I had my Sony camera recording uh, the kitchen area because I figured I don't want to do this outside, I don't want it to be contaminated. So I had it nice and quiet in the house, the only thing that you would hear is just the props from the Mavic Pro. So first up is going to be the Mavic Pro with its regular props and then the second video is going to be with the Mavic Pro with the Platinum low noise props put on it and on the bottom left of the screen I'm going to put the decibel meter so that you can kind of see and also hear for yourself what the Sony camera picked up regarding its audio and it was a pretty dramatic difference. So you got to hear and see the difference between the Mavic Pro uh, standard props that come with it. It averaged 80 to 82 decibels in audio and or as far as noise. And then the Mavic Pro Platinum low noise props averaged 67 to 68 decibels. So that is a pretty dramatic difference between the two. And here's a little side note. If you look at the photo... They're supposed to be both sitting at four feet, although the low noise props had the Mavic up just a few inches higher. So that made me want to check into the RPM because it made me think, well, you know, there must be more lift happening. So if there's more lift happening, maybe there's less RPMs happening with the motors on the Mavic Pro. So I wanted to check the difference. So the next video is going to show you the RPMs from the standard props and then RPMs from the low noise props. RPM. 560, 570. Well, you can tell, 510. Thirty. All right. Please check it on the map. We're gonna do a test. 
test to see if it's still agile or if it's even more agile than before. It is a little bit windy right now. I've always been tempted to hand catch it, but I'm not going to do it. I've seen a couple ugly videos where people uh, got their hands sliced up nicely. Well, it seems to be performing well. But I was just real curious to see if the uh, platinum low nose props were actually quieter than the uh, Mavic Pro, and I believe that they are. So, what's the takeaway from using the Mavic Pro Platinum low noise props? Well, if you look, obviously it, they are quieter by a pretty dramatic difference uh, from the standard props being 80 to 82 decibels, low nose props 67 to 68 decibels. Uh, another telling thing was the RPM range. Now, the motors were running at RPM 560 to 580 RPMs with the standard prop, and with the low noise props, they were running 510 to 530 RPMs. And you know, part of that is probably because the different shape of the blades for the low noise props, if you look at the the fattest end towards the center of the props, they're actually a lot wider than what the standard props are, so that would make sense that it gives it more lift. More lift means it's easier on the motors, and if it's easier on the motors, it's kind of standard to say that, well, that means that you should be able to get some more battery life out of this. So if you can get more battery life, so you get more flight time, it's less wearing on the motors because they don't have to spin as fast. And I know a lot of people will say, well, you know, 560, 580 versus 510, 530. Well, when you're talking about flying a craft multiple, multiple hundreds of times, I would imagine that that would have an impact on the longevity of the motors or they don't have to work as hard as normal. So as far as I'm concerned, definitely two thumbs up on these platinum props thank you very much to uh, basic filmmaker for inspiring me for this idea to go ahead and continue some testing with it and as you saw in the flight testing it seems to be very agile i will do uh, another video uh probably next week because i've got a couple other things i've got to get reviewed quickly uh, but i'll do another review next week of the low noise props versus the standard props in flight time so that we can actually see do we get more flight time out of it so if you're not a subscriber please subscribe today if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and share the video because there may be some other people out there that would be interested to see some technical data regarding the platinum pro low noise props on a mavic pro and that they're worth it so yes i think they're worth it have yourself a great weekend, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.